The Israeli army says that four soldiers have been killed in combat with Hezbollah militants in southern Lebanon. In a statement released Thursday, the Israeli military said 11 other troops were wounded during fighting with Hezbollah the day before, without elaborating on what happened. The announcement makes Wednesday one of the deadliest days of Israel's offensive in Lebanon, which it invaded over three weeks ago after a year of exchanging cross-border fire with Hezbollah. Israel has expanded its campaign in the country on its northern border, increasing airstrikes against Hezbollah targets across the country. Israel's military casualties have begun to climb in southern Lebanon, with another four soldiers killed by a Hezbollah drone attack earlier this month. In a speech Thursday, Israel's military chief lieutenant Jen Herzi Halavai signaled that Israel hoped to wrap up its operations in Lebanon. In the north, there's a possibility of reaching a sharp conclusion, Halavai said. We thoroughly dismantled Hezbollah's senior chain of command. Clouds of smoke were seen rising into the sky over southern Lebanon on Thursday. It comes a day after Israeli jets struck multiple buildings in Lebanon's southern coastal city of Tyre, sending up large clouds of black smoke, while Hezbollah confirmed that a top official widely expected to be the militant group's next leader had been killed in an Israeli strike. Israel in the past month has launched a major aerial bombardment and ground invasion of Lebanon as it targets Hezbollah with strikes hitting the capital, Beirut, and elsewhere. In the wake of its ally Hamas' October 7 attack on Israel and Israel's ensuing offensive in Gaza, Hezbollah began firing rockets, drones and missiles at Israel, and they have exchanged fire regularly since. But recent weeks have seen a significant escalation. Israel has since launched a ground invasion in Lebanon that it says aims to push Hezbollah militants back from the border. Hezbollah has fired thousands of rockets, missiles and drones into Israel over the past year, including some that have reached the country's populous center. Israel said it invaded Lebanon to try to stop near-daily rocket attacks from Hezbollah. <laughs> 